Hi, this is Maria. I'm going to show how to do a drop shadow using these shapes that I used in a different video to make a mask effect. So here are my layers. I have, I'm going to turn them off and turn them on one by one. So I have stamp brushes, I have a pretty layer, and I have a mask layer. And if you really want to know how to do this, I've already done a layer on masking. This video is about the drop shadow. So back to my layers here. This first one that was your original stamps, that's kind of a built-in drop shadow. So if you click the arrow and just swipe down, you're kind of making a drop shadow right there. Now go back to your layers. If you click the N, you can adjust the opacity from here of that background layer. Okay, that's all you're changing. You're not changing the top layer at all. Um, and you can adjust that. You have all, lots of other tools here across the bottom of your layer itself. Um, you also have, if you click the at the top left, if you click the magic wand, you have opacity here by swiping right to left. Okay, I'm going to click reset at the bottom to go back to where I was. You have Gaussian blur here, swipe left to right, and you, you make it blurry this way. That gives a really cool shadow effect. Um, let's go back, just click back arrow. Um, you have motion blur, again, swipe left to right. Just a lot of different effects. All of these um, do different things. You've got perspective blur. They just, they do different things. Um, so it depends on where this little thing is, how it changes where your, your blur is. I'm hitting reset. You've got sharpen, you've got noise. They all do different things. You've got liquify has a lot of tools here at the bottom. Um, that do really weird things. I don't know why you would need to do this, but um, but you have the availability to do this. You've got pinch, just weirdness. Another thing that you can do is simply click the arrow tool and use the tool at the bottom of this tool itself. Right now I'm working in freeform, but if you click distort, you can grab a corner, do this kind of thing. I'm going to click reset. If you click warp, someone was asking me about making curves. So you can just do it this way and make a curve. And you can go back to freeform and move that way you want it if it's not just right. Okay. Just play with the tools you have and see what you can come up with. Now, let me back up so we have the same old shadow. Now, you might say, well, that background there is red and their shadows are supposed to be black. Well, you can make a black shadow. I'm gonna double click on the black, click this layer, select, and fill. And now we've got it all black. So go to your magic wand, Gaussian blur, and make your shadows black, okay? Easy peasy, just like that. All right, so let's say that's a little too abstract. We're gonna just close all these layers, add a new layer. Let's pick a pretty color, and pick a shape brush. Let's just pick a heart. We'll make it really big, tap on your screen, and you have an instant heart shape. That's a stamp brush. Um, you can click your layers tool, slide to the left, and duplicate. Now that's handy if you have a really complicated picture. Now this, of course, this is a simple heart, but if you had a complicated one, you don't wanna to have to redraw this. Just duplicate the layer. Now go to that bottom layer, pick a black ink, click select, and click fill layer and if I take my arrow and I move it I've made a black the second one is uh, is black 
So I can just drop that down. There's a drop. You can resize this. You can, you can do whatever you want with this. Okay. And again, you can click the N. I'm in the black layer. There's your opacity. You can do opacity from here. Same thing. You can do Gaussian blur left to right. That's really the, the best one, I think, for a drop shadow. Click the arrow again and you can reposition that. Just make it however you want. Now, so we have opacity, we have Gaussian blur, we have motion blur. So if I go left to right, you get that kind of effect, right to left, left click reset. You have perspective blur, you've got sharpen, which just sharpens your images. You've got noise, I'm just swiping left to right. That makes it really almost like TV noise. Reset. And you've got liquify, which gives you all the weird things at the bottom. Now I'm distorting the black image. So let's see what happens if I click on the pink image, go to my magic wand and click liquify or in twirl. And you can do all kinds of weird effects with this. Just play with it. Now another thing that I was just thinking about is you can do the opposite effect. Let's duplicate the pink layer, pick a white. If you double tap anywhere in that white section you get a white. If you double tap in the black section you get a true black. So I want a white. I'm going to select that layer, click select, click and fill. So now I've just made a white one as the top heart. You go back and those same tools apply. So if you click Gaussian Blur on the white layer, look what you get with that. It's just amazing the things that you can do with all of these tools. You've got lots of tools to play with here. So let's go back to my layers, deselect the background, go to my wrench tool, share, PNG, save image, go to good notes, long press, image, photos, pick up the last one, and you can make all kinds of beautiful things with shadows in Procreate. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.